situation. He always works in the minority. The Midianites attack the Israelites. For you Bible scholars, you understand that it's during the reaping of their season. I'm talking to someone. Just when you're getting ready to get paid, just when that husband is getting ready to come, that you've been praying for. You've been single and holding yourself since you was a teenager. And all of a sudden, the enemy comes. Snatch it away. Jesus. Finally, save up the money to get the house that you need to get. And you make the right investments. And all of a sudden, something falls out. The bottom falls out. You lose Jesus, Jesus. See, probably y'all can't identify the losing stuff. But when you lose everything, you feel powerless. Right. When you lose things that are precious to you, you feel helpless. Right at the peak of their season. Bless him, bless him. Many nights come in and steal. Everything. And as they steal everything, the Lord finds this chosen vessel. And he says, get in, I'm calling you out. Well, I'm going to just speed up. There are 32,000 Now, when we read the scripture passage, we understand that you look at this passage of scripture very carefully because what the Lord reveals to me, he reveals concepts, which he's already also revealed to you. There are two groups of people that are not qualified to handle the fire. The first group, they were scared. Pastor touched on it today. You see, you can't be afraid to say, God, give me a vision and run the other way. You see, God can only bring you to stuff that he, as, as the bishop talked about today, he only brings you to things in which you know that he knows that you can handle because of our faith level. And what he understands that, he said he takes us all through qualifying test stages. And he taken these things, he already right immediately. For those that, 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 that want to leave, 22,000 just left because they were scared. They could not understand vision. Jesus. I'm here to let you know that fear is a spirit. Fear is a spirit. I'm talking about the fear, you know, some people can just get what God has for them and say, Lord, I'm going to take it. I don't see it right now. And I'm going to run with it. And some weak, mean, bold legged person that will say, oh, leave because of fear. So there are 10,000 left. The other classification of people are people that are just satisfied with status quo. Because when you're satisfied with status quo, you're not watching. You're not prayerful. And you're really satisfied the way that you did. I'm okay the way that I am. You see, in order for there to be change in our life, whether it's spiritual, whether it's physical, there first must be a desire to change. 